What's the challenge and challenge? Dish PH Games here, and welcome to another week of the WSS The World Showdown series. This week we are up against Dan Kiki and, of course, the Rose Raidenborgs. This is going to be an interesting match. I'm going to close out of the uh, showdown chat and uh, get on with this. So, let's see what he brings. He brings Mega Metacham. Diggersby, Kirom, Greninja, Corbalion, and Cresselia. Okay, interesting team. I'm going to... Honestly, I was not thinking he'd bring Diggersby. Honestly, I was not thinking that. But I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with Runner. Because I can protect with Runner. I can see what he's going to do. And then ultimately switch out if necessary. That's what I can do with Runner. So I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best option. Just in case he decides to start with Diggersby. He did decide to start with Diggersby. Okay. So what do I want to do here? Well, I want to protect to see what he does. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect. He decides to U-turn. He can't U-turn because I protected. Which is fine. Uh, should I let him U-turn? I could let him U-turn. I feel like U-turn wouldn't be a bad thing for him to... If he wants to try and get out of here, he can. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna toxic whoever he goes into. Unless he tries to go into Corbalion. So, I'm going to do that. He's going to U-turn. That is fine. I am bulky and I have leftovers, so I can take that. But I'm going to toxic whoever wants to come in. As long as it's not Cobalion, I can toxic it. Okay, I toxic... I toxic the... Uh, I toxic the Cresselia, which is something I would actually like to do. That is actually not a bad thing to do. So, now what do I want to do? Um, in this situation, what I might want to do is I might want to try... I want to protect, see what his plan is. So I'm going to protect, see what his plan is. Okay, so he decides to go into uh, this. Would it be a good idea to stay in or uh, protect just to see what his plan is? Because he could mega... But then again, he gets speed boost for Mega Ring. What does he have? He could have Thunder Punch. He could have Thunder Punch, which would be very scary. But he could also he could also have something that else deals with me. But I don't think he's going to have too much that deals with Runner at this moment in time. But I don't really know too much. I want to protect just in case. I want to see what he's going to do. Okay, he does have Thunder Punch. I wanted to see if that was a thing. I wanted to see if he had Thunder Punch. I now know he has Thunder Punch. And now he's let me know he has Thunder Punch. Uh, so I want to get out of here. Because I can't take a Thunder Punch. I probably could take a Thunder Punch, but I don't want to take a Thunder Punch. That's the whole point here. I don't want to take a Thunder Punch. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say... <laughs> I forgot to say that. I forgot to say good luck, have fun. I kind of was just too much in the zone at this moment in time. Um, so, yeah, I, for I forgot to say that. But now I did. Now I remembered. Okay, so now I want to switch out. He could Thunder Punch again. That is something he could do. But... I could go into, in that situation, I could go into Charles and take the hit of a Thunder Punch because, like, I'm ground type, I'm going to take it. But he could Ice Punch, knowing that I could go into Charles or Club Lang. He could, uh, to resist the hit of the Thunder Punch. Oh, it's, it's iffy. I could go into someone else, too. I could go into Coco and, uh, Abigail because they're both bulky sets and running on them as well and they could take the hit of the Thunder Punch as well I'm gonna go and into this 
Oh, oh, why? I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. I should have gone into someone who could dealt with it. I just cost myself a uh, Charles. Okay. I have to make a first turn. Um, I'm going to mega. I'm going to cotton guard to boost my defenses. Okay, so now I've got a load of defense. And he might try something. He has moves that could try something against me. Who do I want to go into to deal with this, uh, uh, to deal with um, Greninja? Because Greninja is scary as hell. He could, uh, he could Shadow Ball. He could Shadow Ball, he do a Dark type move, uh, like Dark Pulse, and that would be very scary to deal with. Who can take the hit of a Dark Pulse? Um, I guess Club Alang could. Clubber Lang has got interesting special defense and probably could take that hit. Uh, runner could take it. Runner, let's go and runner. Okay, runner was probably the best play. Now I'm in with runner. What's he want to do? He could switch out or he could grass knot. I'm going to protect to see what he is going to do. He grass knotted. Okay. So, I wanted to see if he had Grass Knot, and he does. Now, I want to go out into Clubber Lang, because Clubber Lang could take a Grass Knot. And takes it rather well. So now, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I could Power Up Punch. That would be an interesting idea. And it would work on whoever he wants to bring in. It could do some damage to whoever he wants to bring in. I'm choice, so I guarantee I outspeed most of his team. So yeah, that's a thing. I could also, I could also do uh, technician boosted bullet seed, which would probably be a really good move. But I don't know. These would be technician boosted as well. Just. Upping my attack would be what I'd like, though. Upping my attack would be pretty good right now. So, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Power up punch. Okay. So, he went into this. I wanted to see what he would go into, and he did go it. He went into this. Cresselia, which is fine. Uh... Not great against what uh, I'm locked into, because I'm locked into power punch, uh, power up punch here. So I'm gonna switch out. Would probably be the best option. And back into runner. I think my best option here is here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back into runner. Okay, so now he's going into Cobalion. I want to protect to see what he's going to do. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect to see what he's going to do. He's going to Swords. That's kind of scary, but I'm bulky. So... Um, I'm going to Skull. Uh, can I live? If he tries to do something, can I live? I'm going to Scold. I do live but not by a lot. I'd like the burn. I don't get the burn. Okay. Well, I'm going to protect to get some leftovers back. And lower his stats even more so. I'm going to scold now. Because I probably should just let Runner die here. Which is okay. It's okay to let Runner die here. Now, my ideal would be to go into to Abigail and Psyshock, because he can't get out of here now. Hmm. 
Why? Why did he have to live that? Oh, Psy Shot would have done, done so much damage, but he had to live. I'm going to rest. Oh, why? Don't live, and he has to kill me to Rocky Helmet. Okay, he's clearly won this match. I'm not... I'm just... Uh, d debating the inevitable at this moment in time, really. What do I want to do here? I want to go into Coco. I want to go into Coco. I want to try and see if I can set up a Calm Mind. Okay, that was a sort of bad idea, but like, I'm a bit bulkier now. Could I take it if I'm bulkier? Could I rest? Now he's uh, lowered in special attack. Could I rest? I do get a chance to get the rest. Okay, I do get a chance to rest, and I can do, v and I can be back up at full health, which is good. So now what I want to do in this situation? Well, I kind of want to go back into uh, Club Lang, and because I can't read, I'm asleep here, so I'd have to wake up, and I'm guaranteed to have two turns of rest, so two turns of sleep, so. I can't really store it out, really, so I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into the blank. Because I resist the vault. I resist it, and now I can. I can bullet seed on whoever comes in. Or I can force par. He's probably gonna go back into Cresselia. So. That's bullet seed, was it stab? I only got a I only got a two hit bullet seed. God damn it! I only got a two hit bullet seed. I'm gonna go back into uh, Coco now because I can tank a hit with Coco, and I want to wake up, but I'm probably not going to. So I'm just gonna uh, take a turn here, which is fine. I would wake up here, but like the fact is, uh, I can't really do too much to uh, Diggers me because you're normal type. So I should probably switch into somebody else here. This might be where I need to bring an exuntry, and uh, yeah, this might be where I have to bring an exuntry because exuntry could use the focus. Sa I can get a focus sash off. Which is probably the best option. Or I could just let Club of Lang die. I'm guaranteed to wake up here, but the fact is I don't do I can't do any damage to this thing. So yeah, it would be a bad idea to allow it to uh, to do it uh, to allow it to do damage to me because I can't do anything to it. And it might have Shadow Claw. You know what, I want a Cotton God just to see what it has. Oh, it has Knock Off. Yeah, I probably should have switched. Okay. So, yet again, I want a Bullet Seed. So, I'm going to do that. Why am I getting so low attempts at Bullet Seed? That's why I want to know. I'm only getting like twos at the moment in time, and I'd prefer to have much more than that. Okay, so he could Shadow... He can uh, Psychic, he could, sh he could send Headbutt, he could Shadow Ball. He's definitely a physical set. I outspeed, but the fact is, do I do any damage with Bullet Seed? is the question. And can I guess off a good bullet seed number? Because I'd like a good bullet seed number. 
and I don't know if I'd get it. That's the thing here. I'm going to try for it. Oh, I only get two again. Oh, I died because I only get two. Every time I only got two. And if I got a five hit kill, I would have killed him. I would have killed if I had a five hit. Now he's going to go into Digger's B and he's going to think that he could beat... He's going to think that he could beat me here. I'm going to say GG in the chat, but like, it's not over yet. He could go into Digger's B. Probably dig, going to Digger's B is his best option here. So I'm going to Hidden Power Ice on the potential Digger's B switch. I should have... I should have vault I should have vault switched because it was priority. Uh, because I knew I sort of thought the potential diggers B switch was gonna be something, but like he decides to stay in. I'm gonna vault switch this turn. There's nothing I can do here. He's won. If only I had Shadow Sneak on this moveset. I would like to wake up, but like I'm not going to wake up before he does. So yeah, GG. Okay, so I take a loss there. I take a 4-0 loss. Uh, I'm okay with it, really. I probably was going to lose this fight anyway. His team is too OP. Just too OP. I don't know how we let it happen like this, but like it did. Anyway, we'll be back next week. Next week, uh, I don't know who I'm facing. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna find out before I end today's fight. I'm gonna go and find out who I'm facing next week. So let me do that before I end today's. Uh, before I end today's episode, I want to see who I'm facing. I minimized it. I did not mean to do that. I meant to expand. Okay, so I'm facing the Monterey Gyaradoses. Great, I'm facing the leaders. Oh, this is going to be an interest. This is going to be an interesting tournament for the rest of the couple for the rest of the weeks. Let's do it. We're on it. But until next time, I'm just VH Games. If you somehow enjoyed this fight, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Vidme, you can leave an upvote. You can follow the channel. And of course, you can leave a comment over there as well. But until next time, I'm just Peach Games and I'm out. See you again.